Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Matt and welcome to Downshift. Today I want to share my experience with buying Carvana with you. For those of you that don't know, Carvana is kind of like the new, I guess, futuristic way of buying a car. It's completely online. Um, <clears throat> so I was a little skeptical, admittedly, at first, since, you know, obviously this has not been tried and tested with me before. Uh, I've always gone to actual dealerships or bought from private parties. Um, so doing the whole thing online was a little bit um, nerve-wracking to me. But I called them right away. I saw the ad for... I should actually start by saying this car is for my lady. Uh, hi, Sadie. This is hi. my lady. Um, <clears throat> the car is a Mazda CX-5 2016 uh, Grand Tour. We saw it on cars.com. It was a good price. We figured, you know, we didn't have anything to lose. It's worth a call. So we decided to check it out. So I called in. They have exceptional customer service. The guy that answered the phone, I think his name was like Eli or something. He did a fantastic job. He asked me exactly what I was looking for. Uh, I've had a trade in. We took care of all of that right away. Um, he basically priced out my entire trade, well I should say her trade, she's trading in her um, candy blue Ford Focus for the new silver 16 uh, Mazda CX-5. So we priced that out on the phone, um, we did like the whole blue book value and everything like that, it ended up going really well, really smooth, uh, and then he had me finish up online with kind of document submission and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> the point that we're at now is we are now on pickup day. And here's where it gets a little bit annoying. So Carvana is built on this whole idea of they will bring the car to you. They will put it on this truck. I'm sure you guys have seen it on commercials or online or whatever. Uh, they put it on a truck, they bring it to you. You just pick up the car, it's super easy. Well, Milwaukee people get shafted again because we're in a smaller market. Um, we have to go down to Waukegan. That's as far north as they could go within their radius for free delivery. So we're literally meeting them at some random grocery store in Waukegan. So we still have to drive an hour south into Illinois. Uh, we got there a little bit early, so now we find ourselves in a Burger King Playland. Look how fun it looks. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know Burger King's had Playlands either, but it's like very obviously copying McDonald's. Also, this Burger King is garbage because they don't mm -hmm. offer uh, two for 10 Whoppers. Uh, they only offer the two for six. You can't get the meal deal. Uh, so what we ended up having to do was, I got a spicy, crisp, uh, spicy crispy chicken sandwich, uh, she got a Whopper, we had to get just one order of large fries and then share a drink. Stupid. Very bad Burger King. Address it. Grand Avenue. Be kind. <clears throat> Be kind. Anyway. Matthew. Anyway, so while we're here trying to kill time, we've eaten. Uh, I feel a little bit gross because it's Burger King, uh, but we are going to take advantage of this playland. Ninja Warrior. Oh, could have rolled an ankle. Slide. Ah! Oh, it's so sticky! Oh, oh, oh. Ow! That's not playing. This was a lot better when I was like six and like that tall. All right, killed enough time at the Burger King. Check out the Ford Focus, Candy Blue SE. Meow. And we're passing by Six Flags. More flags, more fun. Woo! Love the roads in Illinois. Just like the ones on the moon. All right, so we just arrived at Lewis Fresh Market on Grand Avenue. Uh, this is the place that Carvana told us would be a good place to meet up. Uh, they said it had a big parking lot. What they probably didn't know is that it's October 4th and half the parking lot is taken up by wild pumpkins over there. Uh, so yeah, we're not really sure where the truck is going to go, but it's not here anyway, so we'll figure that out when it gets here. So she's upset that we went to Burger King because she really wanted to do Arby's. She has legitimately told me as of last night that Arby's right, is her number you only one fast get a food place. For. No, that's not what you said last night. I know. Leave it in the comments right now, how much fine. Arby's sucks. That's fine. And what's better than Arby's? And try to keep the list to at least, you know, maybe max ten per person. What do you have to say for yourself? I stand behind it. I really like Arby's. Deal with it. Curly fries. Curly fries are legit. Curly That's fries are good. So. Roast beef sandwich. What? Arby's sauce. That's what you get. Okay. Don't 
Don't mess with the beef and cheddar though. Those are <laughs> awful. Just a beef and cheddar. The regular. Also, guys, we're getting married in like a year. So subscribe. Get your friends to subscribe. Get your mom to subscribe so I can afford a wedding. Thanks. So as we're sitting here waiting, I can go through a little bit more with you guys. So I said that we found the car on cars.com. Uh, I called. They priced out our trade-in for the Ford Focus. Um, they pretty much did, you know, everything that they needed to on the phone. And then everything online was pretty much up to me. Um, we could select financing. We could do, um, you know, all of our documents through there. It was really convenient, really easy. They called you, like, pretty much every time you, um, like, finished a step which some could consider annoying, but you didn't have to answer, uh, and they would still let you know over totally. the voicemail. One thing that was annoying <clears throat> is you need to submit proof of residence. Obviously that makes sense, um, but we submitted like three different ones and they were not having it. So we ended up having to finally submit our lease. Um, they want either a lease or utility bill. Since the utility bill is in my name and not hers, and the car is for her, that wasn't gonna fly. So that was kind of annoying. That was kind of frustrating. Um, and then since we didn't submit it within like the hour time frame, like I was at work, we were out doing stuff, uh, <clears throat> we had to like reschedule our delivery date. We got the same date and time, which would have been fine, but it was like a week out uh, just because we were busy. So if we had wanted to pick it up like two days later, we couldn't have done it because we didn't submit our utility bill. So that's kind of annoying. But uh, other than that, it's been totally fine. Have you had any complaints with it? No, not yet. No, not yet. So if we have more complaints, they're soon to come. <clears throat> Actually, one more thing. Insurance is really annoying too. So in order for them to deliver this car here, I should also specify we're in the free delivery zone. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. They would deliver it all the way up to Milwaukee if we paid for it, but this is the free delivery zone and we're not that wealthy. So we're gonna do the free delivery. That's um, why we need the subscribers. <clears throat> yeah, subscribe. Get your dog to subscribe too. <laughs> I didn't mention that earlier. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, so in order for you to pick up the car, you need to bring the title of your car, your registration if you want transfer plates, um, the fully executed contract, which we have, uh, and then this is the kind of annoying one, and this is the one I really don't like, I think this is where Carvana is going to have a hard time, is you have to have proof of insurance on the car. So like we haven't driven the car yet, like I haven't driven the car, granted I've driven like a bunch of CX-5s, but like I haven't driven this exact one. So it hasn't been on a test drive yet, and we already needed to get insurance. So we were on like Progressive last night getting her a policy. And she was like, well, this is super annoying. Like, what if the car sucks? Like, what if we get it and, you know, it's not what I want? Granted, Carvana gives you like a seven day question, you know, like no questions asked, money back guarantee, and that's fine. But like, now I have to deal with the progressive people because, you know, you're not allowed to like test drive it or take it off the truck unless you have insurance. So that's kind of annoying. So fingers crossed it's great. We'll see. her new best friends. <laughs> it's like a sketchy Disney ride. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> You're so excited. <laughs> we got young Dave in the car. He's gonna back it out. That's Mike. That's our boy Mike. These guys are killer. Awesome dudes. Mike's super buff. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the parking brake. Ooh. Well, it's also at like a 30% incline, 30 degree incline. There she is. Ooh. Wicked. Wicked. Drive it to me.
No car. Yeah. I'm so excited. Sport mode. Okay. She's driving her new car. Test driving my new car. Test driving. <laughs> Um, my new used car. Her new used car. Um, she was really concerned about the color. Silver is not her first choice. She wanted the blue and I wanted the parchment interior. So we got silver with black interior. <laughs> She's literally laughing at like everything. So I can tell that she likes this car. I'm pleased. <laughs> <laughs> she was skeptical when we first came here, but she's feeling a lot better. So I feel a lot better. Happy fiance, happy Leonce. Check us out. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm not juicing so Go get him. Go get him. Okay, weirdo. Pound it. We're going to sport mode. This is my daily driver, okay? Sport this is mode. how I would daily drive. Sport. Oh, it didn't like that. What Ooh, did you do? It does like sport mode. What did you do? It's gonna hang your revs it got higher. like it got like really scared. Don't No, it didn't get scared. The revs went. I up. got really the scared. The car doesn't then. get scared. <laughs> You made it really sad. You made it so angry. No, it's the revs are higher. Turn that off. What the hell did you do? Why did I get you a Mazda? Why did we get you a Mazda if you're not going to have sport mode on? I'm in the Mazda! It's really aggressive gearing down low. Not in sport mode, it revs up to 4,000 RPM really, really easily. Also, something we forgot to mention, it smells amazing in here. I was like yelling at Dave. I was like, dude, this car smells legit. The last one we smelled, I'll, I'll say this, the last one that we test drove was a blue one with parchment seats, but it smelled like butthole. Uh, and by butthole, I mean cigarettes, so. Oh, it's a full tank of gas too. Mmm, way to go, Carvana. That's the way to treat people. Full tank of gas. We appreciate you, we're about it. Phil. No more Phil. Bye, Phil. That's Phil, named after Phil Collins. She didn't know that Phil Collins was a car guy, so Phil died today. Carvana swag, oh, a koozie, sweet. Pen, I think there's some mints in there. Sweet. Thanks to our friends at Carvana for hooking up the new Mazda CX-5. Thanks guys, Congrats, we really guys. appreciate it. Thanks. Fantastic, thanks guys. What's up guys, we just finished signing over the new CX-5 to Sadie, she's super excited. Yeah. Um, honestly, the whole experience was fantastic. There was just that one thing about the documents being you know, the right format or whatever, uh, but that was really my only complaint. So absolutely a phenomenal experience with Carvana. Yeah. The guys that dropped it off, their names were Mike uh, and David. David from Seattle actually ended up working at Automobile Magazine. So I'm hoping to connect with him later. David, I know I gave you my channel, so I better see you in the subscriptions. Um, but no, they were fantastic, <laughs> super, super fun to work with, uh, had a great sense of humor. Uh, absolutely great experience, would absolutely buy Carvana again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope it was informative, uh, we had a really good time. So if you did, hit that like button, subscribe, I look forward to seeing you next time, bye. Bye Phil. I wanna jam it with you, jamming. German and I hope you like do you like German too? Sometimes. Alright, well sometimes. <laughs>